Hi, we are Too Many Zoos, and this is our quick fire for Spindle Magazine. All right. Funniest experience from your busking days. Um, I, I like, particularly remember this guy shitting himself in the subway. Um, and it wasn't really that funny when it happened, but looking back, it was pretty funny. Oh, the guy with the cabbage. There was a guy in the subway who walked through with a cabbage on a leash like a pet. That was probably the most oddest and funniest thing I've ever seen in the subway. You got one, man? Not really. I mean, dude. They were all kind of funny. Every day was funny. In the yeah, subway. I mean, pick your poison. Every day. Yeah, every day in New York City is. Person like, yelling. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't cool. weird in the subway, then it was, weird. It was normal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> There's so many. It was momentarily there were weird things going on and funny things happening. Oh, the next my one. turn again. Yeah. Yep. What is the one city where you would most want to perform? New York. Tokyo. Well, I like Los Angeles and London. Two of my favorite places to play, two of my favorite places to be, so. Who was your favorite music artist growing up? I would say. The one artist that stands out for me would be Bob Marley. Like, in his own words, he made music that a child could understand. And it's sort of like living on today, you know? Every generation picks up his music. Bob Marley is an introduction to sort of counterculture as well. So I would say Bob Marley, yeah. Like, saxophone player I heard was John Coltrane. And that was, like, incredibly important. Um, for me to just listen to tons of John Coltrane when I was a kid. Um, but, like, as far as performers go, like, Michael Jackson is number one on my list. And when I was a kid, I was like, whoa, what, what is this? Like, the way that this human being can communicate through music and dance is just, like, on another level that I don't think has ever been matched. What was it like working with Beyonce? Awesome. To me, it's more about, like, everyone that we work with when we work with Beyonce because it was such a just um, amazing team. Um, everybody played their role and did an amazing job at it. And everything was just really smooth and organized and um, well put together, and it was great. Um, Beyonce individually was incredibly kind to us and um, just awesome and perfect the last one what is your favorite song to busk to i would just say made up making yeah, up song yeah brass house yeah, man making shit up yeah i mean that's yeah. how it all started that's how all our songs are anyways we only made titles because people made us uh, yeah. make titles yeah we're an unconventional and that's the whole thing is like uh we didn't we didn't premeditate this, but we we owe nothing to the past in terms of that. Like we we're tr brass house is our approach, and uh, it's to me it's really important to like communicate that to the uh, other musicians and artists that we're really trying our approach as much as people say they hear other genres of music in our music. That's not an, so much an intentional thing for us, other than like. We know what music that we know we like, like dance music, and we have an objective to make people move and all those types of things. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we were clear on that, that we're a brass house band. When we get together, we play brass house music, and that is a kind of creating a vibe amongst ourselves and, and, and the audience in front of us. It's not necessarily a, a performance thing, but more of a ritual thing. And people can come join the ritual, you know. So there it is. Too many zoos. Quick Cut. fire Cut. questions. Cut. <laughs> but we spit fire. <laughs> also. Spit fire. Oh. And if Adele, you know, we're here to, you know. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello. It's us. We're here, you know. Hello from the other side. All right.